Oh, good morning. Oh, well, I say good morning. It is uh, two o'clock now in the afternoon. But last night I went out with a new guy I've met, uh, Cody. Hey, guys. So, yeah, last night we went to, is it Cow, Cow Sun Road? Yeah, Cow Sun Road. Had a few drinks, which, yeah, feeling a little hungover this morning. And as I've met him, a new friend here, he's off to Chiang Mai tomorrow evening. So with me having no plans set in place, uh, I booked to join on. So we'll uh, head over there tomorrow night, see what that part of Thailand is saying. I've not actually filmed too much whilst I've been in Bangkok, which uh, is a shame because since I moved to the hostel, I ended up meeting people straight away, which was great for like that social um, side of things. Cause like I said before, from like Egypt to Abu Dhabi, Dubai, etc., hadn't actually met anyone. One sec, there's a truck coming. Let me carry this on once the truck gets past. Nice and tight. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I was missing that social aspect. So as soon as I got to the hostel, I met some amazing people. I met Cody, the Canadian, uh, two of his American friends. So two nights ago, we ended up going out to Khao San Road, having some drinks, enjoying the night there. Got a little bit hungover. So yesterday I didn't really want to film too much because I was just recovering. And then obviously like yesterday, and today I met some lovely Australian lads, so I've just been chatting to them. It's great to sort of share travel stories and, oh, this is too loud again. One sec. Yeah, I guess Bangkok's very busy, isn't it? Uh, busy and loud. So yeah, met them and it's good to sort of hear their travel stories, what it's like, where they're from, they are telling me about Perth. So yeah, I've just had a really good time socialising. So I've not actually explored much of Bangkok in terms of culture which leads me on to today. So today I am going to explore some of the temples um, and the Grand Palace. I think that's like number one on TripAdvisor. So as long as I box them off, I think I'm not too fussed because tonight um, I'm going to Chiang Mai. So again, it's a last minute booking. It costs 37 pounds for the flight and then the hostel accommodation there is again 10. I think it was like 10 euros a night, so it was super, super cheap and means I can still meet people, socialize and have some fun, hopefully. So yeah, today is going to be a day of culture. Go see some temples. Um, try to go somewhere quieter because I bet the road's so loud. So yeah, today is going to be a bit of a day of culture. Go see some temples in Bangkok, see the Grand Palace where the king used to live. And then I've got to get back to the hotel for 4 30 so i've got like four hours it's half one now oh no, i've got three hours shit yeah so i've got three hours to go explore see some sights head back to the hostel grab my stuff jump to the airport get to chiang mai and yeah i need to like obviously try harder to film this because bangkok i've just kind of skipped through it a little bit which always happens like when i meet people i find it more difficult to film because you obviously want that like organic conversation you don't want to be just like oh can i get my camera out can i film this conversation so yeah you just want to sit there and enjoy it like for what it is and not think about filming everything all the time but yeah bangkok has been good so far i feel like this is the true experience of travel compared to what i've done sort of across europe and on my way here so yeah i guess i just uh, enjoy the next few days see where it takes me and then figure out where I go from Chiang Mai. I'm just booking it day by day and see where we go. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop waffling on now. This is the plan for the day. Let's go see some temples. temples which are very nice to be honest the mad thing is that like, makes you think how much more religious some of these countries are compared to like the uk obviously like i think it's uh, the buddhists here and the monks and stuff it's like obviously such a massive part of their life and daily routine and i noticed that even when i was in the maldives or abu dhabi dubai egypt like religion is the staple point to their life always going to a mosques or temples which is quite quite nice to see because obviously in the uk that's took a, a massive 
uh, back seat, I guess. It's more niche if you're into that or you do go to church. I mean, I certainly don't know many people that, that go there. So it's uh, interesting to see. The other thing I want to talk about is just how busy Bangkok is. <clears throat> so I've not actually explored Bangkok that much. Like I said before, I've gone out for drinks and had a bit more of a, a partier side to Bangkok. But when I've been Googling like some of the attractions, they, they're like, even though they might only be like three miles away, they're an hour's drive because the traffic's so bad. Which like puts you, puts you off going there if you've got a lack of time, which obviously I have because I've booked on to go to Chiang Mai this evening. So I may have cut my journey a, a day or so too short and not seen everything that I want to see. But I guess this is the whole point of this journey. You just go with the flow and go and see whatever I come across. So there's no regrets on that point. I'm looking forward to Chiang Mai this evening. And now I'm currently walking to the Grand Palace, which is 0.9 miles away. Uh, so about a 30 minute walk it's saying. So go and see that, that was like one of the top things to see on TripAdvisor. Uh, so yeah, have a look around that and then after that I'll see if there's anything else close by worth visiting. If not, head back to the hostel and get ready to go to the airport. And for a change, I've checked in online. So I should be good. There should be no issues. For once I've read what needs to be done and done it. So I'm hoping we have a much smoother airport experience this evening. Anyway, let's continue the journey. So I've just stumbled into another temple. It's not the Grand Palace. It was absolutely lovely. Like, look how, um, let me flip the camera around actually. It's like squared off, surrounded by golden Buddhas. Empty, and then we have this. Absolutely stunning piece of architecture, super clean. So I'm gonna have a walk around um, it and then head inside and see what it's like before moving on to the Grand Palace. But I am on a bit of a ticking time timer today um, and I hate to feel rushed. So yeah, but it's one of them. We'll get through it. stop myself from stumbling into these random temples they look absolutely incredible like the architecture the gold the art and the walls it's stunning it feels so peaceful and quiet in there as well but yeah I'm still trying to get to the Grand Palace I need to see that before I leave Bangkok um, and, oh, I always feel dodgy crossing the roads here it says green but no one listens to road signs so yeah gotta be super aware but yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm trying to get myself to the Grand Palace now. I need to see that before I leave Bangkok, but it's half two. I'm a 20 minute walk away, so that take us to three. The very latest, I'm gonna have to leave at four to try and get back to the hostel to uh, get the taxi with the guys who I'm going to Chiang Mai with. So yeah, I'm heading there. Look, look at how tight this little walkway is compared to the road. I mean, it hardly feels safe. Actually, I'll cross the road. It's a bigger pavement this way. Whoa, there we go. So yeah, I will um, start filming again once we get to the Grand Palace. Can we do 100? Yeah. Outside? Do I need a mask as well? Thank you. Have you got a spell? Oh, amazing. Saves me an extra couple of quid, doesn't it? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Have you got a change? Yeah, I need to. Thank you. Where can I get a change in here? Thank you. Yes, check the fit out on these. Okay, so they've uh, took my camera off me. I'm not allowed to take that in there. So I thought I'd jump on and do a video here. 
check um, these bad boy pants out. Absolute style icon. So yeah, um, no footage with the camera inside, but I'm allowed to use my phone. Makes no sense to me, but we'll, um, we'll do what they say. Well, vlogging camera's back out now. Uh, just left the uh, Grand Palace. Took my little pants off. Absolute fashion icon. Yeah, you know what, I'd say it's worth seeing. Probably skip through it in an hour, an hour and a half. But yeah, it looks, <coughs> looks beautiful, all the, uh, the buildings, the gold, the artwork around it looks really nice. So yeah, I would, I would advise anyone in Bangkok to go see it. It does cost 500 baht to get in, which uh, I thought was expensive to begin with, because I got in the earlier temples for free. But yeah, I think it probably works out at around 10, 15 pounds. So, you know, it's, it's worth it just to, uh, to go and see. Now it's time to head back to the hostel. Oh, I'm lost. Now it's time to um, make my way back to the hostel. I've got half an hour to uh, get there, get the bags, jump in the taxi with the guys that I've met there. Uh, next up is Chiang Mai. So um, kind of looking forward to seeing that one because uh, it wasn't on the list at all. Actually, in my head, I had planned Phuket. I wanted to go from Bangkok to Phuket to see the beaches and the Phi Phi Islands, I think they're called. Um, but everyone sort of warned me off going. Not because it's bad, apparently it's it, what, like some of the best places in Thailand to go. More so because the weather there, um, it's off season, so it's rainy season. So it's raining like every day. And so they're like, yeah, don't, don't go there. So I'll have to uh, come back to Thailand at some point to see those islands for sure. Away, it's saying so uh, yeah I can't wait to just get there and get a drink I'm so thirsty really hungry as well but um, sorry those cars are probably really noisy yeah I'm really hungry as well but probably not gonna be able to eat now until uh, I get to the airport because I've not left myself enough time so yeah just to throw some drink down because I am feeling dehydrated right now how are you it's um, such a completely different way of living here. Just walking down this side sort of street now, which is just on like a, um, like a narrow lake. And people are just living in, I don't even know what to describe it like really. Very, very minimalistic, like old battered chairs that they sat on. All the clothes are out at front. It, you know, it looks more like makeshift housing or like something that we'd make as a den as kids in the UK so to see people actually live it in those conditions yeah puts things into perspective makes you um, appreciate what we've got and what we had growing up I guess which we take for granted we all take for granted far too much how lucky some of us um, really are and how some of our problems that we've got really they really aren't problems when you compare it to other parts of the world so yeah Good to see, because it gets you thinking, but sad at the same time, I suppose. Yeah, we made it back. Back to the time, half four, back at the hostel. Let the onward journey continue. Oh, hello, I'm just here to check out. Where have you been? Going for a wander. Why, have you been looking for me? Huh? Have you been looking for me? Yes, because you need to check out before 12 at least. Ah, oh, well, I left it. I left all my stuff. I moved all my stuff. Yeah. So, so you didn't pay yet for the room that? No, I paid. I paid in full and the deposit. Uh, this one is the extension from yesterday oh. to today that you did not pay it already. Oh, well, I'm what? Waiting for you from yesterday. Okay. Yeah. What um, what do I get back from deposit? I paid three hundred in deposit. The deposit is separate than this. This is the room price that you extend. So the deposit, I get that back though, yeah. don't I? So is this £300 and I can just give you the extra 91 Yes, sure. Yeah, sweet. So you will not get the deposit back, okay? Yeah. Because you pay for the room. I'll just get you. There, there's, there you go. Could I have your signature? Please? Yeah, sure. Yes. That is everything, yeah? Huh? We good? 
Yeah. This is this is not ideal leg room. I'm just glad it's only a one hour flight, so I'll break it. So yesterday I had no plans for my onward journey. 24 hours later, I booked a last minute flight to Chiang Mai with my new friends Chelsea, Audrey, Cody. What's the plan for the rest of the week or the next few days? Uh, I don't know if we'll be sober in the next few days, but uh, fun. <laughs> Looks like it'll be a tiring few days. But yeah, I need to get to bed now. The state, the state of my face. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Oh, sick. I'm thinking of working my way around to New York. So I got a bit of a fever, so. Oh, don't worry. I think we're all struggling. My voice is like fucking dying, so. It's bad. Yeah. How long have you been traveling for? So I started two months ago. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Where have you been? Um, I started in Israel. So oh, sick. So there. Um, and then I made my way to Sri Lanka. Nice. For a month, and then Malaysia, and now here. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So when do you go back? Until my money runs out. <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking of doing, but like, I don't know. Where are you from? Manchester. Oh, okay. So what I did basically was I booked the cheapest flight out of Manchester, which was £10, to Carcassonne in France. Oh, yeah. bloody hell, I forget in Europe. It's so Europe yeah, so cheap. So like, I did that, and then I got the train to Toulouse, because okay. uh, there was no flights out of Carcassonne, because it's just dead. There's nothing there. Uh, went from Toulouse to Milan, Went around Milan, Lake Como, Bellagio, all that sort of stuff. Then I got a six pound flight to Bratislava in Slovakia. Uh, did that, then I moved on to Vienna, flew from Vienna to Istanbul. It's a big Euro, Euro tour-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like flying. Went from Istanbul to the pyramids in Egypt. Then I went to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. I was going to fly to India from Dubai, but I couldn't get a visa. Um, so then I ended up going to the Maldives of all places. How was that? Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Did you surf? Cool. Uh, well, I didn't go to the islands where they surf because they they they're like four hundred kilometers from the yeah the main. Yeah, so it, yeah, it's exactly the same. Like it's not not travel as money anyway. So then from the Maldives, I came yeah to Bangkok, and then I've just wow. come That's awesome. come here. You've so far. I know. Did you start? Uh, end of September. I know, I'm knackered, I'm so tired. Because, like, 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 yeah, well, now I've got this far, I'm almost like, do a fly around the world and get back to Manchester. So, like, from here, I don't know what I'm going to do in Thailand, but go to, like, Singapore, Tokyo, yeah. Tokyo to LA, and then literally spin around the world. Like, quick, quick time, but at least I can say I flew around the entire yeah. world. Oh, my God, that's amazing. So. So yeah, I've been filming it all as well. I so. The you have. so yeah, I need to do a video of this actually. So I've just arrived in my uh, dorm in Chiang Mai. Where, where are we staying? What's it called? Silvis. I've just met. Sorry, I've just forgot your name. I don't even know if you want to appear on this right yeah. now. She's got a fever, guys. Sorry, what was your name again? Subin. Subin. Yeah. Perfect. So here's Subin, and this I imagine is my bed for the night because everything else is full. Mm.